let's think about outside of chemotherapy. We've got clinical trials that are going on right now. They're looking at immunotherapy for patients with pancreas cancer. I'm not talking about the checkpoint inhibitors. I'm talking about vaccines. So let's talk a little bit about immunotherapy for pancreas cancer. Kayo, tell, tell us a little bit about what you know. It is exciting, actually, because we are moving on to a different modality of treatment in pancreatic cancer. Historically, unfortunately, you know, um, target agents have not been successful in this disease. Other GI malignancies, you know, colorectal cancer, even gas, you know, gastric cancer. We have target therapy that uh, has proof of principle to improve survival. EGF inhibitors, uh, VEGF, um, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, and uh, t trying to target KRAS, all those things failed in uh, pancreatic cancer. Now we are realizing that uh, maybe the strategy could be a little bit different, either targeting the stroma mm -hmm. or, you know, making your immune system work for you again. Because we all believe that in the tumorigenesis, um, the immune system failed at some point and allowed the cancer to establish itself. How can we bring the immune system to be our ally again? So one of uh, the strategies is with a new um, vaccine called Origin Plant to Cell L that is uh, actually, you know, um, pancreatic cells, PANC1 and PANC2, that uh, have been genetically modified to express alpha-gal. And uh, alpha-gal in induce a type of uh, reaction that we observe in xenographic uh, transplants. So it's a very high um, uh, reaction. And the hope is that by activating the immune system again through that mechanism, the immune system will eventually you know, corroborate uh, and, and help the chemotherapy in destroying the cancer cells. Algen plant cell L have been um, studied in the adjuvant setting, a phase two has been published, where um, the results were appealing. You know, population of patients were very high, lymph node positive patients where historical controls uh, suggest that uh, the addition of algen plant cell L to chemotherapy uh, could improve outcome. And uh, a phase three trial has recently been completed and we are waiting results of adding algen plant cell L to gemcitabine then a move to GEMNAB or to Fofirinox, <laughs> um, is still to GEMCytobine or, um, you know, uh, to GEMCytobine alone. So we're going to have a randomized phase three trial that will answer that question for us in the adjuvant setting. In the local advanced situation, we also have a trial, and here they extrapolate from the phase three data. Actually, you could, was the physician choices of either GEMNAB, Paclitaxel, or Fofirinox, and you add algen plant cell L to uh, this strategy. Radiation could be part of the program as well. And so you have uh, all the modalities together and the patients would, uh, if become resectable, they could go to surgery and continue on algen plant to cell after surgery as well. So very exciting. So instead of using a check checkpoint inhibitor to block how tumors are hiding from the immune system, we're actually giving them the target to hit. Absolutely. And, Tom, what are you guys doing at the Farber? Thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I think it's really an exciting uh, technology. Um, I, I think it, it, it certainly is the, it's a different way of, uh, of using immune uh, uh, drugs. Uh, we're, you know, we're used to using the checkpoint inhibitors in many of the other diseases that we treat. Uh, they don't seem to be, at least as single agents, very uh, effective in pancreas cancer. Uh, perhaps because it's this, you know, the concept of a cold tumor. Um, but if we, can, if we can sort of heat it up and, and bring uh, activated uh, T cells into the tumor, we can uh, perhaps, you know, really harness the immune system. So, um, you know, I think we have a lot of these kinds of clinical trials uh, in the works, and, and certainly we participated in the, uh, in the phase two of, of um, the algin pantocell L vaccine uh, in the adjuvant setting, and I think, um, you know, we're, we're very excited by that drug. George, even a, we've got a double vaccine too. It's not just a vaccine, we've got a vaccine vaccine. Well, you know, this is study. work from Hopkins. So those guys, yeah. you know, they're, they're pretty smart over there. The you Jaffes think? and the Laharus, so yeah, they're pretty <laughs> smart. So yeah, they've got GVAC, which is uh, two cell pancreatic cancer cell lines. 
overexpressing uh, GMCSF, they irradiate them, and so they get uh, more antigen presentation. And uh, so they show data in the adjuvant setting about survival about 25 months. And then they brought in another drug called uh, CRS-207, which is actually expressing mesothelin. This is uh, based on a listeria strain that's not, uh, that's attenuated. So they combined the two, they did it in second line treatment and they showed some meaningful survival, meaningful survivals of about 10 months. So they did a GVAC versus GVAC plus this uh, listeria construct and showed about a 10 month survival versus about four months in the GVAC arm. So, you know, the Hopkins guys are leading the way, I think, and, and everybody's excited about the checkpoint data that they showed in the, uh, the MSI non-colorectal cohorts. There's about four patients there. The, uh, the poster is presented today. Uh, three out of the four uh, pancreas cancer patients had responses. The overall survival for the entire non-colorectal cohort is about 21 months. So there is some room for checkpoint inhibitors. But unfortunately, it's not a lot of patients. It's probably a minority, you know, 10% of patients that have these if mismatch that. repair tumors. So I think no, you can't interrupt. I think me. both of these <laughs> strategies, uh, they they sort of do lend themselves to potentially uh, partnering with a checkpoint inhibitor, um, and, and maybe that's really uh, going to be uh, uh, a way to, to to move it forward. And I, I think there is a, a phase three trial um, in pancreas cancer with the GVAC CRS two hundred seven. Yeah. And um, I think top line data are going to be uh, going to be available sometime later this year. Yeah. So this is the double hit where you where you get the immune system all activated and angry, and then you give the listeria, and then that activates it even right. more to attack the pancreas cancer. So so many different ways we're hitting it, and then also.